Read that again. My son, lead not a beggar's life. See that? God is telling you a king, brother. You are a god, brother. Right. God said you ain't supposed to be out here living no damn beggar's life. Right. Read that again. My son, lead not a beggar's life. For better is an idiot to die than to beg. You hear what the Bible says? The Bible says it's better to be dead than to be out here begging, man. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's why if you can go back home to your family that can take care of you until you get on your feet, do that, bro. Don't be right here, girl, right here begging and shit. You better than that. Right. Came in the truth, a new creature. You don't know me. Four years I be eating. What club was that at? That was. Admit that a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 31. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? What's your, you know your nationality? Um, you do. You see, that's like the third person in a row that does say they Israel. How long you been doing it? Well, my family we do a church every Friday, every Saturday, every Saturday, Saturday. Okay. Mississippi. Okay, um, Mississippi. Yes, sir. Okay, we just had uh, uh, Captain Get Light. He's from Mississippi. Okay. okay. How long you been in North Carolina? Pretty much my whole life. Your my whole dad, life. My dad was a, a Baptist pastor. Okay. Converted to. What, what we know is the truth. Okay, how long has it been since he converted? About five years. Bro. About five years now? Five years now. Okay. We just have that Saturday on our stepmom. She's written into it. I've been reading Maccabee, Jasper. Okay. Uh, you know you reading Jasper too? Yes, sir. Well, you know Jasper ain't in this right here now. Huh? That's the first. No, this is the this is the 1611 King James Bible. Okay. What, with the Apocrypha. Apocrypha. Right. Okay. This is the version you should have. Okay. Right? So you've been knowing Israel, you've been knowing you Israel for five years. Yes, Your family is in Mississippi. Yes, okay. Uh, are you what? What you out here doing right now? Well, pretty much I used to be uh, I used to beg for money, man. And, um, pretty much I've been ever since I had the idea to wake up and do this. I've been consistently getting support okay. from my people. So let me ask you: Are you homeless right now? Yes. You are. Oh. Pretty much. All right. So listen. That's, that's why, listen, but you're still in your right frame of mind. I see. Because a lot of people that's in your condition, they like, you can't talk to them, they go. So the fact that the Most High is keeping you in your right frame of mind, right, you need to take full advantage of it. You understand what I'm saying? And really start to come back, because you, your family is in Mississippi. Can you can you go back home right now and, and your family take care of you? Two weeks. Huh? Two weeks max. What you mean two weeks max? Um... I'm a procrastinator and I kind of give off all his dreams, so man, like, I do something that I don't finish. So they pretty, pretty much got tired of me. So right now, I gotta prove myself that I can do it. Well, listen, bro. There ain't no reason, there's no reason for you to be out here on the streets if you have family, right, that's willing to help you until you get on your feet. Right. Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? Because that, that's just being prideful for you to be out here like that. You ain't supposed to be out here begging, bro. You understand that? You know the Bible say don't be a beggar? Right. Give me that. It's rock 12. Find me that not a beggar's life. It's rock 12, 40. Cause see a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people be out here begging, right? And then when they see us and we don't give them money, they be feeling some type of way. Right. But we just applying, now it's not saying we won't help you. We will help you, but we are not gonna get in the way of God's judgment either. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Read. It's not yeah. Book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse five. Do well unto him that is lowly, mm -hmm. but give not to the ungodly. Uh -huh. Hold back thy bread, and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby. That's why we got to be mindful of giving out money and food to people that's in the midst of sin. Right? Because it's been many times, bro, say, let me get $5, man. Let me get, I'm going to get something to eat. I say, okay, let me get you 5 This is pop back in the world. I say, okay, I'll get you 5 bro. He go right in the store and buy him some beer. Hey, bro, I thought you said you going to get you something to eat, man. Well, no, I need this beer. That's why people don't want to deal with people that's homeless like that no more. Because they take the money and do evil with it. Give me that Sarah 4028. Watch this. 
It's the book of Sirach, chapter 40 and verse 28. Uh -huh. My son, lead not a beggar's life. You hear what the Bible say? You God's son. What's your name again, brother? Don. Don, read that again. My son, lead not a beggar's life. You see that? God is telling you a king, brother. You are a God, brother. Right. God said you ain't supposed to be out here living no damn beggar's life. Right. Read it again. My son, lead not a beggar's life. Uh -huh. For better is it is to die than to beg. You hear what the Bible say? The Bible says it's better to be dead than to be out here begging, man. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's why if you can go back home to your family that can take care of you until you get on your feet, do that, bro. Don't be right here doing right here begging and shit. You better than that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want to happen when you where you 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 smoking. You smoking? Just just be honest, bro. You smoking? Um, don't lie to me, bro. Come on, bro. I'm 1835. Listen, listen. No, we we try to put you on blast. We just we, no, but we should. My phone, man. Listen, I, I, <laughs> we, you see how I don't tone it down? I put the mic down. Are oh, you smoking? I don't know. What? Huh? Look, you gotta leave that alone, but, huh? Don't you know that's witchcraft? Yes, sir. Don't you know the people that are that are making those drugs are witches? Yes, you destroying your temple. Give me that in 1 Corinthians 3.16. Now I'm gonna yeah. get back on the mic. Now I know what you do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build you up in there. 1 Corinthians 3.16. Bring it out. That's that, see? And you know what? You, you Listen, you fortunate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I just had, listen. I just knew somebody. Matter of fact, my cousin. I just lost my cousin today. Really? Yes. I just lost a cousin today, bro. You need to stop. The Lord is keeping you in your right frame of mind out here for a reason. Right. You mean you? Because a lot, a lot of times, people in your condition, we try to have a conversation, it don't never go right because the drugs got you too far gone. But the Lord still got your mind and somewhat intact. And before he take, before he make you full reprobate, break. You need to make sure you take heed to what's coming out today, Don. Read it. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, and verse 16. Come on. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? Hey, don't you know, Don, that you're the temple of God? Come on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God, Don, dwells inside of you. You are his child. You are his son. Come on. If any man defile the temple of God, you keep defiling your temple, bro, by doing it. Read on. Him shall God destroy. Hey, bro, you're going to OD one day. Or you're going to lose complete control of your mind. Next time, God forbid, we come down here to do him again, and I may see you over there on the side of the wall, stretched out, sleep, butt naked. I, I mean, we see that. That's what drugs do to you. You be walking around here with no clothes on, all the, all the demons have completely compassed you now. When you walk around here with no clothes on. You understand what I'm saying, Doug? You know that, you know, you've seen people like that, right? That's what be happening. They lose complete control, their mind is totally gone. Because they didn't apply this, read it again. If any man defile the temple of God, uh -huh. him shall God destroy. You keep defiling your temple, God, God. God is going to destroy you. Read. For the temple of God is holy. The temple of God, we are holy. God separated us from all the other nations. Why? Because we are a holy people, God. Read. Which temple ye are. We are the temple of God. Come on. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem it to be wise in this world, uh -huh. let him become a fool that he may be wise. You see that? If you think you're wise in this world, you need to become a fool so you can be wise. You got to put the drugs down. You understand what I'm saying? Go back home to your family if you're able and get back on your feet. Is anybody here that you can live with or rely on in Durham? So you do have somebody that you can go stay with right now. So what's the issue? Because you, you keep going up? Well, I, yeah. You got Come it. on, bro. Hey, listen, dog. Stop drugs. You know what I'm saying? Leave it alone.
because it's gonna completely destroy you, bro. I'm telling you, this is God's warning. Surah 1833. Surah 1833. This is God warning to you, bro. He don't have you standing here for no reason, bro. You better thank the Lord that you're able to have a conversation with me right now. I'm telling you, bro. Read. Come on. The book of Sirach, chapter 18, in verse 33. Come on. Be not made a beggar by banqueting upon borrowing. You see that? Don't be made a beggar. Read that again. Be not made a beggar by banqueting upon borrowing. Don't be made a, a beggar upon banqueting by borrowing. You always like, I need a host. I need to get a minute. You always try to hold some money so you can go get some more stuff. Not to get on your feet. You know what I mean? Because you can clean yourself up right now. Right. Just to get started, you can probably go get your uh, job at KFC or uh, one of fast foods or food line just to get yourself going, bro. So you can get a better job. You understand what I'm saying? Give me that. And uh, what's that? Uh, if a man don't work, he don't eat. Ephesians 4.28. Ephesians 4.28. That's what you got to do. You got to go out there and get you a job. Start making an honest living. Come on. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 28. Uh -huh. Let him that stole steal no more. Come on. But rather let him labor, working with his hands that thing which is good. See that? Uh, read that again. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good. See that? The Bible says we got to go to work. What's that? 1 Timothy 5 and 8? Yeah, 1 Timothy 5 and 8. 1 Timothy 5 and 8, Don. Hey, yeah. Don, we're just showing you love. We want you to get yeah, your I, mind right. I understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 8. Uh -huh. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, uh -huh. and is worse than an infidel. Now, if you ain't taking care of your family, if you ain't taking care of yourself first, the Bible say you worse than an infidel. Meaning worse than an unbeliever. You gotta take care of yourself first. Give me that second answer 14, 13. Bring it out. What you gotta do, Don, is get your house in order. Get you in order. And you can do it. You can do it, bro. Trust me. It's been many of brothers in your situation that has climbed out of that man and doing well from themselves. Many brothers that's with us right now in your same situation. But they start they started keeping the commandments, number one. So they can receive the proper help. You understand that, Don? Come on. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, and verse 13. Read on. Now therefore, set thine house in order. God, you gotta set yourself in order, bro. You gotta get some discipline about yourself. Right? Cause that's what you're lacking. Discipline. Come on. And reprove thy people. And once you get yourself in order, Don, then you can come out here and be standing on this side of the side. And correcting your people and trying to help your people. Because what you're doing out here is just adding to the destruction. You do understand that, right? Come on. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Uh -huh. And now renounce corruption. Now you got to renounce corruption. Read on. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Uh -huh. Cast away the burdens of man. See, that what you got to do, Don. You got to let go from you the mortal thoughts. The evil thoughts that you have in your mind to make you want to go back to doing evil, to make you want to go back to doing drugs, to make you want to go back to fornicating, going to the club, whatever your vice is, you have to put that thing out of your mind and start following the Bible and doing what the Bible tells you to do. So you know, read on. Put off now the weak nature. That's what's going on. It's a weak nature. When you walk around here in the streets begging and stuff, living, living under under uh, under bridges, sleeping wherever outside, that's a weak nature, and God made you better than that. You understand what I'm saying? You can you can better your circumstances, bro, but you gotta put forth the effort to make it happen. There's a way out. God give you a way to escape. There's no temptation that is common to man, but God will give you a way to escape. And guess what? Right now, here's the door. Yep. Is it right here? This is the door for you to get out of your situation. But what you gotta do, you need to follow this counsel that's being given to you right now. Well, I'm actually not late. But when do you guys have church, man? Your church is in Benson, isn't it? Yes, it's in Benson. Yeah, so like, how do I get to Benson from here? What you mean? You can catch an Uber? Yeah, you catch an Uber. 
Well, you got money? Yeah, now, nah, because yeah. I've been working in the Okay, you get, get enough money, catch your Uber down there. If you don't have the money, and get on class and watch online. You got a flyer? Yes, sir. You, before you come to the school, give us a call. Okay. All right? Uber High School. You can just say, but when you call, you may get me or you may get another brother. Okay? And we're going we're gonna to try to help you out. That's if you want the help. And I ain't talking about just coming just to take advantage, just get you a quick meal, get you a couple of dollars, and you bounce. Nah, that ain't what we want. When you come in the dope, Don, we want your mind to be ready to repent and become a god again. All right. You understand that? To make better, like, you could be you could be a beautiful story in Israel. Like, man, listen, man, I remember on, on what's the date? What's the day's date? The 12th. October 12th, man. We met Don on the street. He was out here poor, doing bad for himself. They put the call the line. He came to the school. Now a year later, look at Don. He in a purple shirt. He a soldier of the Lord. Right. Huh. No, I'm serious, man. You gotta get your mind thinking like that. You feel what I'm saying, Don? That's what the Lord can do for you when you keep in the commandments and you follow counsel. I'm serious, Don. I'm going, I'm going you need to call us. But if you have, like, listen, I want you to listen carefully before you walk out. If you have folks here that will take you in till you get on your feet, do that. Okay? okay. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.